The RDO's gas turbine research establishment had taken up the development of turbochargers for diesel engines of armored fighting vehicles, as they demand a wide operating range which is not met by commercially available turbochargers. The turbocharger is used to boost the intake air pressure of an internal combustion engine, that significantly enhances the power output of the engine. The gas turbine research establishment has developed turbochargers for 600 horsepower and 1,500 horsepower diesel engines for armored fighting vehicles. A total of four prototypes were realized and tested, and currently the performance and durability testing is under progress, and the delivery of the indigenous turbocharger is expected by the end of 2021. The press secretary of the Federal Service for Military Technical Cooperation has announced at the Eastern Economic Forum 2021, that Russia intends to sign an agreement with India for the licensed production of 6.5 lakh AK-203 rifles in the near future. According to the press secretary, the issue regarding the payment of royalties by India is still being resolved. A Navy-to-Navy -Navy cooperation memorandum of understanding and the reciprocal exchange of logistics agreement will also be signed during the upcoming visit of the Russian Defense Minister to New Delhi, to hold the first 2 plus 2 ministerial dialogue between India and Russia. Hindustan Aeronautics is yet to get a contract for 15 limited series production light combat helicopters from the Defense Ministry, but that has not stopped HAL from manufacturing the helicopters and delivering them to the two services. Hindustan Aeronautics has already supplied three LCH to the Indian Air Force, and the delivery of first LCH for the Indian Army was completed last month. A total of 10 LCH would be delivered to the two services by December 2021, and the remaining 5 LCH for the next year's program, as it is critical for Hindustan Aeronautics to get the LCH orders on time for keeping the production line running, and if it becomes inoperative due to lack of orders, the production line will have to be recertified, which is a time-consuming process. According to a media report, many Indian private defense companies have tied up with much reputed international UAV manufacturers, but the local indigenous private development is yet to take off due to rigid control of the defense public sector undertaking, that have successfully stalled any moves to take away their projects. The DRDO is already on multiple project extensions along with countless change of name of UAV programs but the DRDO has still failed to deliver a product that can enter production. Many Indian private startup companies had shown interest, but due to the lack of support from the DRDO and government, their concepts have been biting dust. Some of the companies have claimed that the UAV space have been stalled and discouraged by powerful lobbies in the country that want India to remain dependent on imported UAVs. Chinese scientists are developing new quantum radar technology, that will create a small electromagnetic storm, that will be able to detect stealth aircraft like F-35 and F-22 fighter jets, and the Chinese research team asserts in its paper that the electromagnetic storm led to 95% stealth detection. If the project is completed, the new quantum radar system will surpass any previously created radar system, and will be an advantage for the Chinese Air Force, however, there is still a lot of work to be done before a successful prototype is created. The 70-year-old Naval Aviation was awarded the President's Colour earlier today, that is the highest honour bestowed on a military unit in recognition of its exceptional service to the nation. While the Navy is often associated with ships, the aviation wing has emerged as an integral part of both defensive and offensive operations, and experts have said that the naval aviation is very important for the control of the Indian Ocean.